late spring, and I'm going to be walking around my yard and doing some air layering projects. I found that air layering is a very easy way to take a couple of years off of the development of a tree. What you need for this assignment is plastic, sphagnum moss, and some stretchy medical tape. I'm going to be showing you a quick demonstration using a cut branch and my air layering tool. As you can see, this tool strips off the bark quickly and easily. As you can see, I'm wrapping the cut part with wet sphagnum moss and plastic, keeping it together with the medical tape. So this is a sample. Now. Let's go see how I actually did it on some of the branches in my yard. So here's two that I'm doing on this Oshiobeni Japanese maple. And here on this false cypress. And here on this Texas cedar elm. I'll be using this syringe for weekly watering. And hopefully, in three to six months, new roots will be growing into the moss. And last, but certainly not least, is this large three-inch cork oak branch. I'm going to focus the rest of this video on the most difficult air layer I have ever done. This three-inch cork oak, with many design po possibilities. You can see the wonderful movement in the branches. Here is where I started the project several months ago. The only job now is to make sure that doesn't dry out. After nearly two years, I finally decided to cut off the wrapping and remove the branch. I was disappointed to find that only a few short roots had grown and was doubtful that this project would succeed. I pruned back most of the outer branches and then placed it in a pot with nice loose soil. Well here we are three months later where, as you can see, it's flourishing. At first I was worried only a few roots would not suffice. But, apparently, and take note of this, for it won't happen again, I was wrong. It's been five months since I first cut this air layer project off of the tree. And it has grown so well that I've decided it's time to do some design changes. I've decided to keep this larger branch because of the nice angle and I'm going to do an air layer of this smaller one. As you just saw, the root growth has been tremendous in just a few short months. As you can see, I just finished this air layer, so we won't have to throw away this piece. This will be the trunk of our new bonsai. This is Nancy Nodal, signing off.